This tiny little bird is called the Egyptian plover bird, and it's one of the most courageous birds alive, as it will willingly fly into a crocodile's mouth. But for what reason, and what's stopping the crocodile from eating it, you might ask? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. As usual, before we get started, we must first get a little familiar with the animal in question to know exactly what we're talking about. Let's get right to it. The Egyptian plover is a beautiful little bird that is relatively easy to spot, as the 19 to 21 centimeter long adult has a black crown, black eye mask, and a breast band. The rest of the head is white, and the remaining upper part plumage is blue-gray, and the underparts are orange. Pretty colorful, right? For the most part, plovers are carnivores, and they mostly feed on insects. Worms, mollusks, aquatic insects, both adults and larvae, small flies, seeds, and particles of scavenged fish as well. And although some of these birds live in different habitats, most species are shorebirds. They live along beaches, sand dunes, estuaries, tide pools, and more. Some species also inhabit farms, particularly flooded pastures or lakes and ponds, and they have a lifespan of around five to six years. But enough about the plover's characteristics. Let's get to their weird relationship with crocodiles and why they are called crocodile birds. To dissipate heat, crocodiles will bask on the banks of rivers and swamps with their mouths open, and that's when the plovers come along. The birds recognize the invitation and, using their sharp little beaks like a toothpick, they remove the bits of meat from between the crocodile's teeth. This feeds the plover and removes parasites from the croc's mouth. They have a cleaning, symbiotic relationship with the crocodiles where they fly into their mouths and clean their teeth for them. And as you've probably already guessed, the name crocodile bird is derived from the plover's frequent association with crocodiles, the Nile crocodile to be specific. So yeah, that is why plovers seem to live on easy mode and why they're treated so kindly by crocodiles to not get eaten by them. Not because plovers are poisonous, which is a big misconception that people have about plovers because of the spurs on their wings. The plovers provide crocodiles with greatly needed dentistry. That is why they're so friendly to them, because they benefit from them. In this relationship, both animals live in peace because they are getting something out of the relationship. The crocodiles get their teeth cleaned, and the plovers get a quick meal and everybody wins. There are a few other animals that have similar relationships to the crocs and the plovers in the animal kingdom. For example, hippos will usually let eager fish and birds clean their teeth for them. Wouldn't it be nice if all relationships between animals, and between humans even, were that peaceful and beneficial for all parties involved? I bet it would be. But anyway, we've reached the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Did you enjoy this video? Please let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. And please turn on your notifications bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.